the news all the time. Al Jazeera.net forward slash English. Neither rebels nor the government are confirming reports of a Libyan sponsor ceasefire in Chad after a day of pitched battles between soldiers and rebels in the Central African nation's capital. Witnesses say government troops have been trying to fend off rebel attacks on the presidential palace. Chad's ambassador to the U.S. told us earlier President Idris Deby is in his palace and is supervising the operation to drive rebel forces from the city. Well, some 2,000 rebel fighters left their base near Sudan's border on Monday and began pushing towards Chad's ca capital city of N'Djamena. By Friday, they'd advanced to the town of Masagwe, 50 kilometers northeast of N'Djamena, meeting some resistance, but many fought their way into the city center. That closed the airport and the fiercest fighting took place around the presidential palace. Now, France has some 1,200 troops in the city, many protecting citizens and Chadians at the Meridian Cherie Hotel. Now, these are exclusive pictures from inside the city. A French military spokesman says government troops are driving the rebels away from the city after containing them at the presidential palace. The African Union has asked the Libyan and Republic of Congo presidents to mediate in the conflict. The AU leader says the rebels won't gain international recognition. If the rebellion succeeds, certainly we will excommunicate them from, from the African Union until normalcy and uh, democratic institutions are, are, are restored in that country. Al Jazeera is working to confirm the Libyan reports of a ceasefire. Al Jazeera's correspondent, Haru Mutasa, is at the Meridian Shari Hotel in N'Djamena and is one of the few international journalists in Chad. Earlier, she sent this report on the day's developments. Hotels for now are a place of refuge for those stranded. Aid workers, embassy officials and French citizens are packed, ready to evacuate once the airport is open. One of them shows me a bullet that he picked up outside the hotel. We told the rebel forces are still advancing, trying to get to the presidential palace, and the Chadian forces are trying to hold them back. As for the civilians, a lot, a lot of them are concerned about what their safety will be. There's a, a small group here um, who are here trying to, to look for safety, but most are still in their homes. They can't leave. They're scared. In the back of the hotel, the kitchen, tired and terrified Chadians hide, mainly women and children. They were lucky they were given sanctuary. They say many of their loved ones are caught up in the fighting. They say the streets aren't safe anymore. French troops seem to be protecting their citizens. They're not yet actively engaged in the battle. President Idris Deby is believed to be in the presidential palace, but we still don't know who is in control of the city. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Jamina, Chad.